Good Tidings for Wednesday after Epiphany. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, Lord, open Thou my lips, and my mouth will show forth Thy praise. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Psalm 97. The Lord is King, let earth rejoice. Let all the coastlands be glad. Cloud and darkness are his raiment, his throne, justice, and right. A fire prepares his path. It burns up his foes on every side. His lightnings light up the world. The earth trembles at the sight. The mountains melt like wax before the Lord of all the earth. The skies proclaim his justice. All peoples see his glory. Let those who serve idols be ashamed, those who boast of their worthless gods. All you spirits, worship him. Zion hears and is glad. The people of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O Lord. For you indeed are the Lord, the Most High above all the earth, exalted far above all spirits. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He guards the souls of his saints. He sets them free from the wicked. Light shines forth for the just, a joy for the upright of heart. Rejoice, you just, in the Lord. Give glory to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. The Lord is King. Let all the earth rejoice. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans, chapter 8. Who will separate us from the love of Christ? Trial or distress, or persecution, or hunger, or nakedness, or danger, or the sword? As Scripture says, For your sake we are being slain all the day long. We are looked upon as sheep to be slaughtered. Yet in all this we are more than conquerors, because of him who has loved us. For I am certain that neither death nor life, neither angels nor principalities, neither the present nor the future, nor powers, neither height nor depth, nor any other creature will be able to separate us from the love of God that comes to us in Christ Jesus our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, as a new day dawns, send the radiance of your light to shine in our hearts. Make us true to your teaching, Keep us free from error and sin. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Good Tidings is a production of GoodTidings.Faith. I'm David Rollins. Join us weekdays as we continue to pray from the unceasing and universal prayer of the whole people of God. The Liturgy of the Hours, 